Robotics fans, it's Thursday, February 24th, and welcome to the Chameleon Crew News. I'm Hannah. And I'm Will. Our top story for the day follows the adventurous Chameleon Crew and their five-month journey to the WLRC Pioneer Cup Invitational Round. After completing five challenging missions, learning about various inventors spread throughout time, the team is eagerly awaiting their final mission. That's right, Will. I can't imagine the feelings these young coders might be experiencing. They've shown grit and determination throughout the competition, and their confidence will only help them in their endeavors. Hold on, Hannah. I'm receiving word that we have breaking news regarding the Chameleon crew. This story is developing, folks, so please bear with us. Let's turn over to our field correspondent, Ben, for the latest. Ben, what do you have for us? Thanks, Hannah. We just learned that the portal being used by the inventors has malfunctioned and left some members stranded. The Chameleon crew is already designing a rescue device. Let's see what the, c the crew has come up with so far. My idea was to make three catapults to collect the inventors that got stuck on the other side of the portal. Using some Velcro to collect the inventors, also maybe to make a wall to stop the inventors in the portal. Here are some schematics. Here are my schematics. I have three catapults, inventors, and here is the wall. And I have two ideas for the catapults. One that's kind of just regular, and then on this one, I built a um, trigger, if we can figure out a way to do that and pull it with Dash. This is my attachment for the Dash robot. So he's going to spin both of his wheels to wind these wheels, these little spools attached to this car. It's going to go down a ramp. It's going to go down a ramp through the portal and grab onto the inventors one by one. And then Dash will spin his other wheel to bring the car back up. And then he will drop them off into the portal. I had a net. The net scoops the inventors up. Well, I had a plastic ball with some Velcro on it. And there's also some Velcro on the inventors, so Dash could throw the ball in the portal and hit the inventors. I don't have to wait a way to pull this back, but it might work. Wow, what an amazing start to the race to save these amazing people from history. The Chameleon crew has some great ideas, and I feel like they're really putting their all into it. Same here, Will. I can't wait to see what they come up with and how they will tackle all the issues that pop up. Let's leave our robotics fans with this thought from Stephen Hawking, famed theoretical physicist. Intelligence is the ability to adapt to change. We here at CCN believe in the chameleon's, chameleon crew's intelligence and determination. Until next time, I'm Will. And I'm Hannah, signing off for Chameleon Crew News. Keep on coding, robotics fans. Good morning, Robotics fans. It is Tuesday, March 1st, and welcome to the Chameleon Crew News. I'm Will. And I'm Hannah. We are continuing to follow the exciting story of the Chameleon Crew and their quest to rescue the stranded inventors. They've been diligently working to find a fast solution to this difficult problem. You know, Hannah, I just wouldn't want to be in their shoes. Can you imagine the pressure and scrutiny they must be under? This has captivated the entire world, and everyone seems to be holding their breath, awaiting the outcome. I agree, Will. Our val valiant chameleon crew will need to use all their creativity and knowledge of coding, plus imagine, imagination to think outside the box in order to solve this situation. Junior field correspondent Amelia is live with the chameleon crew today. I can't wait to see what improvements they've made. Amelia, over to you. Thanks, Will. Let's see what the crew has for us. So, I designed some dispensers for our inventors and our portal. 
So I have two designs for the dispensers. One is where you just put them in here and they fall down and the, they will be like velcroed or magnetized and they will be pulled out. And this one where you stack the little mini figures, the inventors on their heads and they pop out and fall, same concept. And then the portal, we added a little net back here to catch the inventors. And then I made it just look really spacey, kind of, how it would be in a portal. Hey, I'm Ben, and I'm in the Chameleon Crew. I'm here to talk about our machine to get the inventors through the portal and to everybody else. I'm here to talk about the lasso that I that we all made to make to, that's attached to this Lego car that rolls down a ramp on and connects to all the inventors with magnets. I am Will and I I'm Will and I made a, the winch. I upgraded the winch a little. And we gave Dash we gave Dash a seat belt and we attached like Ben said, we attached the lasso to the car with magnets so that the inventors will pull will get pulled into the portal. That's a great crew. Let's go back to Hannah and Will. Well, I'm so astonished with the work the Chameleon crew has done in such a short time. They seem to be well on their way to figuring out how to perform this rescue mission. Definitely, Hannah. Their time and effort will surely pay off with the successful completion of their objective. I'm on the edge of my seat awaiting the next update. So am I, Will. It will be a compelling finish to their already successful season if they can pull this recovery off. I love your quote from Hawking last week, and I wanted to share my own. Great moments are born, great opportunities. Nikola Tesla. This group of young people have a great opportunity to shine and show their world, show the world their own great moments. This has been Chameleon Crew News. I'm Hannah. And I'm Will. I love Tesla, by the way, Hannah. Great thoughts. Until next time, keep on killing robotics fans. Do you get bored with your old toys? Do you wish you had a new exciting gadget to play with? Wonder Workshop has a toy for you. Introducing Dash the Robot! This cutting edge electronic friend introduces children to coding in a fun way. Dash features many programmable tasks such as driving, sensors, recordable sounds, functions, variables, LEDs, preloaded missions, and more. The free app is just one click away from spreading your imagination. This is amazing! Looking for more fun? Explore a variety of available accessories. If you're interested in purchasing this innovative device and additional accessories, head on over to MakeWonder.com for more information. Happy coding, friends! Yeah! Bye-bye! Welcome to Chameleon Crew News on this beautiful afternoon, Robotics fans. It's Thursday, March 3rd, and I'm Hannah. And I'm Will. Last time we saw the efforts put forth by the Chameleon Crew in their attempts to create a device to rescue some historical innovators. I, could stop, I, I couldn't stop thinking about their quest since we last checked in. What about you, Hannah? I absolutely agree, Will. They're such a wonderful group of young people, and I can't wait for our latest update so we can see the progress they've made and if they've retrieved the four pioneers yet. Field correspondent Ben is on location today to provide updates. I sure wish I was able to be in the field reporting again.
Those were the days. Ben, how is the crew doing? What's a blue shirt? That is a non-slip grip. It's so it holds the the Lego U in place to keep this ramp from sliding around. Why is there a wood bar under dash? It's to keep the uh, plastic from bending because we found out that this and dash was too heavy and the plastic would break. Why is there tape on the airing? Uh, it's for less friction. Why is the ramp foam? The ramp is foam because we needed it longer than the wood. Why is it, what is the box for, this box? The box is supposed to help it help support the weights so they don't fall out. Why are there weights? The weights are supposed to help the string to keep tight so you, it can go up and down. There's a Lego plate attached to the ramp with tape and when the invent it pulls when it pulls back and hits the teeth, the inventor falls down into the net and it he can go safe safely where we want him to. But there is one problem. We can't go past twenty seven meters in the program. We have to do twenty multiple twenties to twenties slow at so that we can get them down to pick up this guy. They, they pull him back. Dude falls in, and then we do that to all of them. So, but if he goes to 30 centimeters in program, then he would basically go crazy and he would just go off and not do what we wanted. So I made the lights in a battery holder. So back here, there's a little holder I made for the lights that are inside the portal. So if I click this button, the light inside of the portal will light up. And we made a little holder here to keep them there so it doesn't like move around and we don't have to set it on top. We also made a support right here for the ramp because it would probably get really bendy right here. So we need to put some middle support. And we did wheels that are grippy. We changed them out from being smooth so it could grip onto this and move easier. Simply astonishing. I can't believe how much the crew has managed to achieve in such a short period of time. They are dedicated and hardworking. Great job, crew. I couldn't have said it better, Hannah. The crew is setting the bar high for all future coding and robotics missions they may encounter. I'm reminded of some words said by Albert Einstein. Logic will take you from A to B. Imagination will take you everywhere. The crew sure has a lot of imagination, and I think it will take them all the way to success. For Chameleon Crew News, I'm Will. And I'm Hannah. Until next time, keep fueling your imagination, robotics fans. Tuesday, Robotics fans. It is March 8th, and I'm Will, and you're watching Chameleon Crew News. How are you today, Hannah? I'm great, Will. Thanks for asking. I wonder how our favorite coding team is doing on their mission to save the stranded creators. I hope they have moved closer to completing the rescue successfully. I'm sure they've made excellent progress. They seem to have their minds focused on the task and such and have such creative ideas, I have no doubt they'll accomplish the recovery in record time. Let's check in with Amelia and see what she has for us on the latest efforts to reclaim the incredible pioneers. Thanks, Hannah. Let's see how the crew is doing. So I made a planet that is accompanied by a small little rocket or mice that goes on it. And 
the tick marks are for to measure the car and to see where we need to place the inventors. So I adjusted the seat belts for Dash because he is really wiggly, so now he'll stay in place. I also decorated my own little grid square with some space stuff. So I made like a little shiny rock, some orbs, a star, and a little astronaut guy. I made an astronaut, and then I made an, a heart moon, and I made some stars around this rocket ship to make. So I made two little vortexes that are basically representing um, the portal, and I made a little rocket ship with a sparkly cube that I made up. And we also made a second support because the bridge, the little ramp was flexing. So this is kind of holding it up and helping the ramp stay. Thanks, Amelia. What great progress the Chameleon crew has made. I can't believe how close they are to completing their goals. Hannah, I believe we have a special treat for our viewers. You sure do, Will. Amelia has been working on an exclusive interview with the helpless inventors. Let's tune in to see what she has been working on. For CCN, I'm Amelia. The world has been watching the rescue of our inventors. Let's see what they have to say by satellite. Our spirits are high, but it's so hot out here. We should go for some ice cream. I can't believe we're stuck here. If only we had my robotic arm to break through the portal. But it sure is beautiful. Our next crayons should be called Pine Tree Green and Sky Blue. Mm-hmm. What brave inventors we are all. Rooting for them at CCN. Thank you for that in-depth look at how the four castaways are holding up. They have had a harrowing experience, and I'm sure they're ready to be rescued. Hang in there, pioneers. The Chameleon crew is working hard to bring you to safety. They sure are, Will. They will figure it out soon and secure the lost creators. Here are some wise words for the determined Chameleon crew from Carl Sagan. Somewhere, something incredible is waiting to be known. The solution is out there, Chameleon crew. Keep on coding. Wow, what a great statement, Hannah. So inspiring. For Chameleon Crew News, I'm Will. And I'm Hannah. Until next time, keep seeking knowledge, robotics fans. Robotics fans, today is Tuesday, March 22nd, and I'm Hannah. And I'm Will. This is Chameleon Crew News. Since we last checked in with the team, they have made tremendous progress. Let's chat with Ben in the field and see what the team is up to today. Thanks, Will. As you can see, the crew has been quite busy. We originally had foam for our ramp, but we changed it to wood here because it was more sturdy. And to add to the sturdiness, we added a little support here in the middle. We also used WD-40 inside of these little crevices, so it would be easier for it to move. We also experimented with different types of wheels, so we could have the right wheel so it was leveled out for that. Basically, which substitutes for this base plate right here, which is easy, breaks apart, and breaks apart. So we don't use this one, we use this one, which connects everything to everything. And it's better because it's more secure. And this connects to his back wheel, 
which holds him in like it's basically the next generation of the Sea Guild. And that Sea Guild kind of gone. So this is um, the replacement for the Sea Guild so that we don't didn't have to keep strapping him on and stuff. So that's that and the weight the weights in the car help the ramp the car move down the ramp fast easier easier we just had to find the right car for weights. This is um the car um, dashes on a mountain with the two inventors, and we have the, um, this is the portal, and it, and it only made little things to make it look all like the portal, and this is the forest where all the inventors are stuck material kept getting stuck in the axle so we had to use a thicker material such as floss so we used floss because it's more waxy and then re than regular string more waxy. Uh, we also used WD-40 to make the floss even more slick so the car, so the car can slide easier. And it, we can't use a lasso alone because the structural integrity was not the strongest that we could find. So we attached the lasso to the recovery vehicle to increase stability. We are hoping the inventors make it on this run. Back to you in the studio as we watch this live rescue attempt together. Keep your fingers crossed, folks. Hannah, I'm on the edge of my seat. The crew has had a long journey on this mission.
Spectacular! I knew this hardworking team could figure out how to save the stranded inventors. Let's hear from Ben to see how the survivors are feeling after their rescue. The jubilee of excitement. I'm having a hard time hearing over this frenzy. You gotta get in on this celebration. Over to you, Will. I wish I was there to celebrate with them. How about you, Hannah? Absolutely. What an adventure it's been for the crew and the inventors. The world has been captivated by their quest, and we join together to say congratulations, chameleon crew. Let's conclude this report with a final quote by Oscar Wilde. Success is a science. If you have the conditions, you get the result. The conditions align for the chameleon crew to finally succeed. We are proud of their determination. For CCN, I'm Will. And I'm Hannah. Keep striving for success, robotics fans. After completing five challenging missions, <laughs> you got your fingers in the way. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Okay. <laughs> yes. I need off for Camille. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Sorry. Finally succeed. Wait. What? Dang it. <laughs>